Tedder. Hello. You made it. I did. Long drive. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going out finally with a buck tag. And uh, so now we're not messing around anymore. So stay tuned. Little Tedder boy is going to shoot a deer. Very uneventful. Yep. No opportunities, but uh, well, nothing. Yeah, we'll get on some tonight. It's a plan. <laughs> Don't kill something. Yeah. Let's do it. in the wild again And I fell right at home Where I belong The spirit Just gotta find them where we can shoot them 
Find the big one. Yeah. See them now, finally. The snow's got to bed down. Side of this ridge to put a stock on him. There's a doll on the back side of the ridge. And spooked us, and this freaking buck ran half a mile <laughs> across the road. And now uh, on a property we can't hunt. So hopefully he gets back in here tonight or tomorrow. Get a shot at him. Yep. Time to murder some does. Right, leading up to him, but we're gonna try. There's a big bush. We're gonna, to him, so we're gonna try to use that bush as some cover and sneak up on him. Get about 60 yard shot of the night he's out in the open. Probably our best, our best bet. So we're gonna work down this hillside here and down this little valley here. Work our way towards him. Get our stock on. So wish us luck. <laughs>
passed on the big tree today. I know there's no deer. Yeah. Could have just found the sweet for me though. <laughs> yeah, that was good practice. That's natural habitat. <laughs> Laura, well, he can get off his phones. <clears throat> so we can find a deer. We got the buck bed, the big one, and that big group of deer that's on the edge of this hill. So we're going to go out and uh, see if we can't sneak over the ridge and put an arrow in him when he gets up. Like turn down the antelope hunt over here. Yep, try on the bus hill. Get out on the plains. So it's time to go. So, uh, this morning was a little hectic. We never got a shot at that buck yesterday, but uh, the big one, big wide one. But uh, this was Tanner's last day. It's the last day of the season here. And uh, we uh, came to another property. We hiked this place this morning, and didn't see a single deer, then came over here. Ran into a bunch of, a whole big group of deer. I was uh, able to Hit a doe, Tanner missed on a decent buck, and then we never got a shot at this other buck that was in here, but uh, yeah, come check it out. So here's where she was when she was standing, and here's the blood trail. This thing is unreal. Bloodsport, broadhead, extreme. Did the number on this doe. I mean, check this blood out. 
It is incredible. Incredible blood. This is a 60 pound bow, so pretty impressed with the results I've got out of this. Wow. It is pretty cool. But blood trail's unreal. I mean, just a red carpet all the way to this doe. Pretty incredible. I mean, geez, this blood is awesome. There she is. There she is. Nice, beautiful doe. Thank you. Good shot on her. And she died quick. Thank you. My dad and brother and some other people want to know this gutless method. And I basically just take, cut straight down the back, all the way down, all the way down one leg, skin all that off, take the back quarter off, bag it. Now I'll go for the, the um, I can take the front shoulder, I can go to the back strap. But uh, yeah, it's not a simple process, you don't get as bloody and leave that carcass and all those guts out here for the the coyotes and doesn't smell because uh, if you're in grizzly country or something you don't want to be attracting attention so yeah we're gonna throw it back in time lapse so see you when it's done strap it on there. Don't have most of my gear because it's in Montana, but I figured this is a good time to test it out. But it's loaded. It's not that heavy, but feels pretty decent. So off to the truck we go. I want to show you guys some more of this blood trail. It's just ridiculous. Sorry, the video's shaky, but just covered. Walk through here, so it's not as good, but pretty incredible. Those broadheads, it was a blood sport extreme. They usually shoot blood sports, but never shot that extreme before. And, uh, did the trick for sure. Now I might have to come back here next couple of days and look for a coyote.
whole lot easier packing something out with a good leg. Go see if we can't find Tanner's arrows. He missed a decent buck in here. So. Tanner had to run back, go to a doctor's appointment or something with his mom. So, he's not with him right now. But this is the afternoon of the last day. So, uh, we got one more doe tag to fill. Not too worried about filling it, but if I can, I'd love to. So, uh, we will uh, try to find one.